could strip Harry Meghan of titles if continue rock the boat, nail their game to the mast. But journalist Jonathan Sacerdoti stressed the unprecedented move remained a highly unlikely possibility, not least because he said it would play into the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's hands by strengthening the perception of them as victims. Mr. Sacerdoti, a regular commentator on Sky News as well as a contributor to The Spectator, was speaking after details emerged of Prince Harry's pound 14.6 million book deal with Penguin slash Random House, with his memoir due to be published later this year. The prospect of another set of potentially embarrassing revelations emerging is likely to be viewed with some trepidation at Buckingham Palace, coming just months after Meghan and Harry's explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey, in which they claimed an unnamed royal had made comments about the skin color of their then-unborn son, Archie. Asked whether the Queen would take drastic action if she felt Harry's book crossed the line, Mr. Sacerdoti told, We can't, I suppose rule anything out because we don't know what's coming next from them. But I think it will be massively controversial for the royal family to do that, and it would be something of a declaration of war on the couple. I think it's highly unlikely, they've already had their let's say royal rights and duties, reduced. Mr. Sassardotti pointed out, the Queen did put up quite a pointed statement when they said that they wanted to try and continue a half-life of royal service from America. I think that there's a certain amount that can be done and a certain amount that won't be done. HRH might go out of the window but I think to remove Duke and Duchess, would be an enormous act if the Queen did do it. Based on the Duke and wife Meghan Markle's explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey, it's easy to understand why those behind the scenes at the palace may be nervous. In fact, the source claimed there is a tsunami of fear within royal circles about what Harry will say in the tell-all book, which the publisher promises will be intimate and heartfelt. Meanwhile Prince Charles was reportedly surprised by the news, and insiders say Harry scrambled to tell his family about his new project just moments before the announcement was made. Both Harry and Meghan have net approval ratings of minus 13 percent, according to YouGov, although Mr. Sassardotti stressed, I'm not sure the Queen is necessarily in the business of following polls, and doing what pollsters say people want. Nevertheless, he added, I would say that the Queen is generally very pragmatic and sensible and magnanimous actor in terms of how she reacts to things and behaves. She certainly knows her mind and does what she thinks is right and a couple of the things she's done so far have been very pointed. Recollections may vary is a very British way of saying something quite pointed and specific and I think that surprised some people, so I don't think that we can say that the Queen isn't able to do what she feels is necessary. Mr. Sacerdoti also highlighted another important consideration in what has increasingly turned into a PR battle. He explained, to remove their titles would in fact play into their whole PR strategy, which is why it could be a win-win for them. To remove their titles plays into their own creation of their image as victims. They have started a narrative where the royal family has cut them off, even though they left the royal family, where they were denied security for their child, even though that has been suggested to be wrong based on the motivations they cited. And so to have their titles removed would only play into that narrative and they could say that they have been cast aside, persecuted because they're living what they call their true lives there, they're telling their true stories and their own personal truths. The whole saga illustrated the contrast between the showbiz environment now increasingly inhabited by the Sussexes and that of the Windsors, Mr. Sacerdoti said. He added, it's a clash of worlds it's a clash of the celebrity world against the monarchy world. It's a clash of modern parlance against very state British aristocratic royal phrasing of things. And this is why it's constantly fascinating for the world to watch and very difficult for the royal family to go through to watch.